For the last 16 years, the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Organization has provided opportunities, scholarships, and incredible experiences for teenage girls. These girls turn into outstanding young women who will change the world. As a girl who started in this organization from a very young age, I've always admired these incredible title holders for how they promoted their social impact initiatives, used their phenomenal speaking skills, and lived their year of service as authentically as possible. These girls taught me to believe in myself and my goals, and to never let anything get in my way. For the next few months, I will be interviewing Forever Miss New Jersey's Outstanding Teen title holders to see what advice they have for young women today, years after their year of service. From daily shenanigans to furthering their education and careers, these women are truly outstanding. This is Keeping Up With The Crown. Hi, Monica. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, This is the first interview that I've been able to do with the teen candidates, so I'm really excited. Okay, I'm excited too. (laughs) So how about if we just start off with you introducing yourself? Okay. Um, hi everybody. I'm Monica. I live in Wildwood Crest, New Jersey, which is the very southern tip of New Jersey. Uh, I eat, sleep, and breathe the musical Hamilton. Uh, let's see here. Um, I live, basically live at the beach. My dad's an ocean lifeguard. My sister's a lifeguard as well. Uh, I have two different colored eyes, actually. I have one blue eye and one green eye, so it's, it's pretty cool, pretty special. Uh, let's see here. Oh, over quarantine, I have discovered not one, not two, but actually a couple of hidden talents that I didn't even know about until recently. So that's- <laughs> Please share your hidden talents. Okay, so I discovered that I'm really good at impressions, first of all. So have you ever seen the movie Legally Blonde? Yes. I can do Miss Bonafonte, you know, the nail salon artist? I can. All right, I can do her. I have a pterodactyl impression. <sighs> I have a couple of different alter egos. So there's one, her name is Vivishka, and she's a Russian supermodel. And then I have uh, Rob the Australian surfer, Carl the old man, and there's a whole bunch of them. And you is... know, I've only pulled them out at parties. There's not like- Yeah, I got you. <laughs> but that that is amazing. I, I wish I had, I don't have any like hidden or like special talents like that. I'm kind of boring. Um, it's a but... blessing at first, honestly. Because okay. there's no off button. <laughs> I love that. Um, but back to Hamilton. Um, mm-hmm. I'm also very Hamilton obsessed in my piano class literally today because of Christmas break being this week. We are not yeah. doing any class and we are just watching Hamilton on Disney Plus. So I've oh been awesome. very happy. Um, I basically became obsessed with it when I was in seventh grade because um, that's basically when it came out and I was learning about all that history stuff. So it it's just been a staple in my life ever since. So I'm glad that I found someone who's just as Hamilton obsessed as me. Oh yeah. So actually the reason I won Miss Altors in the first place was because I wrapped Guns and Ships from Hamilton in a Russian accent in my interview. <gasps> oh yeah. my gosh. That, that's, that's so funny that's... that you say that because my first year competing for the title of Miss New Jersey's Outstanding Teen, I wrapped the um actually the first song just the um the little song. Oh. it's not even a rap but it's so funny yeah. because I look back at that and when I tell people that they're like oh that's so embarrassing I'm like no but it's not like it's no, amazing it's so like cool. I I was so proud of that moment because I've always been very nervous about interview but yeah I, so. I felt confident enough to <laughs> share my love for Hamilton and I'm so glad that you did as well especially with Guns yeah. and Shit. that's a very difficult song and in a Russian <laughs> accent in a Russian accent. So eventually, um, I'm going to need to hear that. We don't have to do it oh, yeah, right course. here, but eventually I will need to hear that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how did you end up starting in the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Organization? So actually, when I was three years old, my mom took me to my first um, Show Me Your Shoes parade in Atlantic City. Oh. And I saw the other girls, they were walking. There was the Outstanding Teen contestants. They were walking with their crowns and sashes on. And I was like, what are they? She was like, they're the outstanding team contestants. And I think it was about one of the, like the first year or a couple of the earlier years. So I was like, I'm going to do that one day. And here I am. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Do you have a favorite memory from competing? A favorite moment that you'd like to share? Um, actually, yes, it started, I already had my title by then, but it goes along with my service Saturdays. Um, 
this past, not this past week, a couple weeks ago, um, we did the first ever for kids by kids shopping event. Um, before that, I did a little bit of um, posting about it and we raised about $900. And I took a whole bunch of group of friends with me and we had a blast. We went to Walmart, we went to Five Below and we got trunk loads of toys to donate to the Lunch with Lunch Foundation, which is a local toy drive and the Shriners Hospital toy drive. And honestly, it was such a cool moment because we were doing something cool for the community and we were having a blast at the same time. Like, how cool was that, you know? That is the, the best kind of events. I always like mm -hmm. to get, especially when you get your friends involved, that is by far the best thing. Mm -hmm. So first off, congratulations on raising that much uh, money. That's an amazing accomplishment. And I'm also a huge fan of getting my friends and my community involved in all of my service activities because it's doing good for others, but also good for yourself by being surrounded by good people. Yeah. So how about if we talk about your social impact initiative? So it's SOS Save Our Shores, right? Yes. Uh, Please so, tell me everything that we need to know about that. Okay. So ever since I was a little kid, I live in Wildwood Crest. You know, I'm three blocks away from the beach. I practically live there. But at the same time, I see the abuse that goes through, like, goes on through the summertime by the tourists and it's just it's so terrible you know I attend weekly beach cleanups in the summertime and we get anywhere from five to seven trash bags each trip and it's just it's it's awful you know and I want to bring light to that situation I want to bring light to all the things that you can do you know locally but on a bigger scale as well to help that, that's incredible I'm also South Jersey um, I'm really close to Ocean City and I relate to you on that level of going to beach cleanups and finding how much trash that we can pick up. It's, it's a yeah. lot. And I'm really glad that you're advocating for this because it's something that's very close to my heart as well. So for the talent portion of competition, you are a singer. So what's your favorite thing about performing? What makes it so worthwhile for you? So it makes it worthwhile for me because you gotta get to tell a story at the same time with like your facial expressions and the overall message that you can share. Um, the talent that I won with was kind of near and dear to my heart because it reminded me of an interview I had a couple of pageants ago, um, and they told me to do an elevator pitch, an elevator pitch in which you had to like sell yourself and sell your brand to, you know, get the job. And it, the song really fits that message. It was just like, here I am advocating for this job. I really feel like I deserve it and I need it. Hey, look at me <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. I was looking at a couple of different songs that have like drastically different messages to them. The new one is um, more of like, this is my opportunity and I'm going to take it. But just the fact that you can tell that kind of story and have that kind of message in the first place is so cool. That, that's amazing. Um, I know we talked about Hamilton earlier. Are you involved in musical theater um, outside of competing in the organization? I am. So I used to dance, actually. I did the Nutcracker for a couple of years. I was a clown. <laughs> I've been a clown and too. Oh my gosh. It was, it was something special. <laughs> to say the least. And this past year around Christmas time, we did Miracle on 34th Street at my school. And I put the doctor, it was, it was a pretty cool experience, a little out of my comfort zone. Cause it's very, it's very stern and very, you know, this is the right way to do things. And I'm not, I'm kind of like an outgoing person, kind of like go with the flow. <laughs> but it was cool to step into that character. And I was actually Olaf in my school play a couple of years ago. And that was really fun because that really matches my personality the best, I think, role wise. And I feel like musical theater is just a home for me. Like the stage is just a, such a home for me. It's where I can express myself the most and I feel most special I feel special I feel at home I love that so speaking of Olaf and speaking of your love for music do you have a favorite Christmas song I do so we actually sang it when we went caroling um me Miss New Jersey and Molly Puglisi I think she's Miss Cape Shores we went caroling and we sang Here Comes Santa Claus and that's an all-time favorite because you know everybody knows the song to Here Comes Santa Claus everybody knows the words and it's easy to follow along with and you can get other people involved and your friends involved. And it's just, it's so fun when you get all together and you can, you have one song that you can all sing together. I love that. Do you have any Christmas plans? 
I do actually. So I go to my grandparents' house every year and we have this circle Pollyanna thing where everybody brings a gift and we go around, we each pick a number out of a hat and that's the order we have to go in. And you can, when you when your number is called, you can either pick from the pile or you can steal somebody else's gift. And that oh. makes for a lot of arguments, but it's fun at the same time. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite thing or most memorable thing that you've either seen or received from uh, that experience? So one year, my uncle brought in a money tree and it was, everybody was stealing it from each other and it was the last person to go and she stole it from me. So I had to pick a new gift. So I stole it back and then it was over. I got the money tree. So I got to take it home. And there we go. That was, that was, that was one of the best gifts I've ever received from that. Yeah. You had to work for it. So I have one last question for you. So I know that we won't be able to compete for the title of Miss New Jersey's Outstanding Team for a little bit. So just mm -hmm. tell me what your plans are for the future, for the new year, uh, what you plan to accomplish and what you're looking forward to. So I am so looking forward to continuing the service Saturdays. They're so much fun. And I feel like I have a lot more time now to prepare for the Miss New Jersey now that it's in June. And I get to see my sister queen the crown crowned in the same weekend that is amazing first of all and I feel like I can get a lot more done you know community service wise Th that's amazing um I wish you the best of luck thank you so much thank for joining me today mm -hmm. um do you know do you know by any chance your uh, social media accounts yes uh so it is miss south shores out ot 2022 is my south shores one and then I have a separate one for my social impact and it is Making Waves Movement. And then I actually have a TikTok for that as well. It's Making Waves 2022. Thank you so much. Thank Happy you. holidays. And thank you so much Happy for joining us. Bye. Merry Christmas.